This is the trip that you need. It's all around just clouds above you, water under, mountains as a view, and some great people. That's travel. Well, hope you watched our day one, part one at Hampi because we love Hampi just the way you love Hampi. Our day two, we started our day two by exploring local markets at Hospet and attended a family ritual celebration at the Sacred Heart of Jesus Church, located right in the heart of Hospet Market. and then halted for some hot medu vada and capsicum bhajiyas we then planned our day to at anegundi which is almost 25 km away from hampi and then landed up at the chintamani math which is lord ganesha's temple located on the banks of the tungabhadra river it is said that this orange flag is the samadhi of king krishna devaraya the main king of hampi also one of the greatest kings in india and karnataka located right at the center of tungabhadra river in the summers you can see the entire tomb but during the rains it is submerged in this mighty river we then discovered a lot many historical places which are also mentioned in the ramayana like kishkinda durga temple bali sugriva cave so we are entering the more historic cave this is day 2 of our trip and we are on the other side of the hampi this is called alegandi let's go Check this place out. This is the Pampa Sarovar, 
Stories say that this place has experienced gold rains in the ancient period. From half a day visiting temples and historical places, we decided to spend the other half in adventurous activities for ourselves. We halted at this place called Sheesh Beach for some food and relaxation, a perfect chill out place for travelers and humpy lovers. We proceeded to the most awaited activity of Humpy, the coracle ride. These coracles are huge baskets made up of bamboo, strong enough to hold four people and take you to the other side. They usually charge rupees 500 for this ride, but believe me, it is worth every penny spent. going round and round and round now that is the best part about this ride it's the best part about humpy agar aap hamare channel mein dekhoge to hum gol gol ghoom rahe abhi aur this is oh, ultimate trip you don't need any trip in life but just this even if you do any trip you'll give up <laughs> this is the trip that you need it's all around just clouds above you water under mountains as a view and some great people that's travel. All thanks to Trip Store and Travel Humpy. Our next adventurous activity is the dare to jump task. It is also called the cliff jumping. This is cliff jumping. Cliff jumping all the way down. This experience is in Haiti and there are a lot of travelers. Well, swim at your own risk. Get up from that. This is fun. So you can actually be going down. Five. After a very very tiring day too, we ended our day too by celebrating Sarah's birthday, our very dear Sarah's birthday at the terrace with native folks and the Virupaksha temple Happy right birthday, behind us. Sarah. Happy birthday to you. May the God bless you. May God bless you. Happy birthday dear Sarah. Happy birthday to you. Trust me, celebrating birthdays or any occasions at a place other than yours a travel or a historical place always makes a difference because you are never going to forget this experience for the rest of your life. Good morning, this is our day 3 and Amjo uh, here, we are staying in a homestay and it's a very, it's the only place that you have to come to just crash in the night because all your days you are just travelling across. So this is Shiva Cafe, you can check them out. They are right behind Virupaksha Temple, there is a lane out there. It is a super nice place, the people are very good here and uh, when you wake up you also have breakfast served outside for a very minimal rate and you will enjoy the like, authentic South Indian breakfast. So check out Shiva Cafe as well. 
This is the place we stay at. Like, like, 30, 60, 90. Hey! <laughs> On our day 3, we visited the iconic Viru Paksha temple in Hampi. So this is day 3 and we are at the Viru Paksha temple. One of the most famous temples in Hampi. Hampi is the famous temple. And it was built in the 12th century. It's one of the oldest temples. Being an history student, I really like the history. Well, it was completed in the 14th century by King Krishna Devaraya. And this temple's beauty is its architecture. Now, you come to Hampi, all the puja part or all the prayers are only in the temple. Because its beauty and its ancient feel is still alive. And this is the signature icon of Hampi. It is a huge temple and uh, this temple is also a bread uh, provider, a bread giver to so many people around, people that live around here in Hampi. One of the best uh, tourist attractions of Hampi is the Virupaksha temple. So let's go and check it out. Photography is not allowed in this temple, but we have tried to capture and get you as much of information in this video. There is a place inside the temple where you can see the entire shadow of the Gopura. That is the Virupaksha temple inverted. Now this is a marvel of architecture and engineering that India already had back then. This temple is huge and has captivating history. Also a place to attain absolute peace. The history of Hampi is so intruding, it says Krishna Devaraya as a king was crowned here the day he donated his land and entire wealth to his people. Second location, this is the Vijay Vitala Temple, one of the most iconic places. There's also a stone chariot here, and uh, this stone chariot is printed on the Indian currency, 50 rupee note. As you turn behind, you have the stone chariot. We're going to explore the Vijay Vitala Temple as well as the stone chariot. Let's go and check it out. The pride of India, we have the structure on the 50 rupee note, Happy Independence Day and that's the stone chariot structure. The stone chariot is located 
inside the Vitala Temple campus and is a symbol of wealth and pride for India. This same stone chariot as you invert your 50 rupee note you will find it on your 50 rupee note as well. The Vitala Temple is a symbol of exceptional intelligent architecture with the musical pillars, stone chariot, animal sculptures and engineering. So uh, these are like the musical pillars in the temple where you can keep your ear and you can play. There is a main area, which is a main area, there are uh, different instruments like the tabla, the sitar, you can listen to the sounds of it. But here, it's a common music area. So every time you actually play, there's an art of playing, you will actually get the music reminding you that the stone is not hollow. It's a full pillar stone and whatever you play in it, it's the music that actually gets you to your senses. This is it. So this is the Vitala Temple. This is the The music and the vibrations in what an architecture this is not a hollow stone but it gives you an entire sense of music here i'm loving this place this is at the vitala temple in hampi karnada sir ek sculpture mein aapko wo animals dikhega ek ko cover kiya to aapko jaana pura elephant run ke wo elephant aur isko aasani se ye cover karne se aapko dikh jayega bull the bull ka horn or face a body We now move to our next spot, the Lotus Mahal, a place especially built for the Queen for her leisure time. This is the place where the Queen and her friends would have their chit chat evening conversation. Our final spot is the elephant stable, a huge structure where the king used to tame his chosen elephants and horses. The king placed his selected elephants and his selected horses at this place that would guard the kingdom of Hampi. Well, hope you've liked our part 1 and part 2 series of Hampi. If you've liked our video genuinely from your heart, if you've crossed every point of this video, then share this video with people who are planning to travel to Hampi 